a new male call set, and a fancy pants shave. Stay tuned, guys. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Brian the Floridian. I'm back for another shave, and I'm gonna be doing a fancy pant shave. I was actually tagged by Jimco Shaving to do this shave, and this is also a mail call, so I'll be doing a mail call on a special set that was released by South Florida Wet Shavers for the summer meetup, this, this actually this weekend. And the meetup was today on Saturday, uh, June 27th, and it was supposed to be in Orlando, but due to COVID-19, they did a Zoom meetup, which is really interesting. So anyway, guys, what this fancy pants shave challenge entails is that you have to use your most, I'm not really sure if it's the most expensive, but it's gotta be, it's, it's your most nicest shave gear in your collection. And I can tell you right now, this soap is gonna be probably one of my most best soaps in my collection, because I already love the scent on this. This will be my first time using this soap. This really smells. Fantastic. The scent is super, super nice. And what's cool is when I bought, when I got this in the mail, there's a South Florida Wet Shavers guitar pick right there. So I'm gonna be using a soap for this shave tag, for this fancy pant shave. And I'm gonna be using my, probably my best, my most expensive razor in my collection, which is my Rex Ambassador uh, stainless steel razor. And I'll be using this uh, on a setting of three and a half because I have about three days worth of growth in my face, so definitely ready for a shave. And I'm gonna be using one of my best brushes in my collection, one of my favorite brushes to use. And this is my AMAC Big Cypress brush, which AMAC released and made for us earlier this year. Actually, I'm sorry, last year. So this is a Big Cypress silver tip badger knot. I wanna say it's 26 millimeter. Pretty, pretty decent sized knot, but a very, very beautiful brush. I love the coin on this brush. And I'm gonna be using the Pulse Silver Super Iridium Blade for shoes. So, excited about the shave. Let me go ahead and wash my face, guys, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. I got my AMAC Big Cypress soaking in my brush bowl by Jeffrey Eskel from South of the Way Shavers. I got this about, I wanna say end of the year bash, probably about a couple years ago. I'm not sure who made these these little brush bowls, but they're just big enough for a brush to soak it, soak your brush, especially a natural hair brush. So let's go ahead and put this out, shake the water out, and I'm gonna be loading. I I actually have the the uh, Morikami soap in my Doug Smith bowl, so I'll be doing a a brush lather right here out of the bowl. So this scent is very very interesting, very bright scent. And I was reading the scent notes from the uh, Shea Palooza or South Florida Wet Shavers website, and it describes the, the scent on the soap. It is, it is phenomenal, guys. Very, very nice scent. And Tallow and Steel, if you, if, you don't, if you guys don't know, is out of Winnipeg, Canada. And the artisan is Ryan, and their soaps are phenomenal. He's got a great base. It's got the uh, beef tallow, rendered tallow that he, that he gets lo locally. I, th I think it's locally sourced. And he basically renders his own beef tallow and makes the base out of everything organic. So everything's pretty much organic and and just great ingredients. But let me go ahead and keep lining this up. But anyway, this this is one of the one of the two soaps that was released by South Florida Way Shavers for their summer meetup of 2020. And this was commissioned through South Florida Way Shavers through Talon Steel to make this for the group. And it is very, very, very nice. They have they have two other uh, Japan inspired, Japanese inspired soaps from Tallow Steel. I want to say it's Kyoto and uh, Yukashimi is their other two scents. But this is their third, third scent through Tallow Steel, which is another Japanese take on their soaps here. So Morikimi, I hope I'm saying it right. So Morikimi, you're, you're probably wondering what that is. It's Ashley. Named after a beautiful guard, uh, guard, Japanese gardens and museum in Boca Raton, Florida. 
great place from what I hear. I've never been there before, but beautiful. If you go online, just Google it. The pictures are amazing there. Uh, pretty, pretty nice place from what I see online. But anyway, almost got this loaded up here. So definitely a lot of lather generated from this little bit of soap here. So the scent is very interesting, very bright. And I was reading the scent notes, and I'll tell you, I have them written down right here. So they describe it as that the scent opens with a vibrant, fresh citrus, a blend of three different grapefruits from Florida, uh, ruby red, white, and pink grapefruit, and a zesty uh, yuzu oil from Japan. Following the citrus are luxurious green notes and a touch of ginger, leading to a soft aged wood dry down. So that wood dry down is actually uh, Canadian Douglas fir, and also uh, koi. Uh, I can never say this right. Koi koyamaki, which is a Japanese pine, featuring also the yuko yuko asugu, which is an oil distilled from the buried remains of a thousand year old Japanese cedar trees. Very interesting scent notes, but definitely a lot of the stuff is sourced from Japan. A couple of the, a couple of the oils. Uh, Canada and USA, so definitely a very, very unique uh, scent description here. All right, guys, got this. I think I'm pretty much set for the first face out of here. Let's go ahead and give this a try here. Might have to wet the face a little bit here, so let me go ahead and do a little, little spritzing here. So I got that trick from watching other wet, uh, YouTube wet shavers, uh, primarily uh, IMCDB uses the uh, spray bottle for its face, so especially when the soaps are a little bit dry, the lather's dry, but this seems to work pretty well. Yeah, this AMAC knot is very, very nice, luxurious knot, definitely soft on the face. And so far, decent lather. So, hope you guys are having a good weekend so far. I was on the Zoom meetup for about six hours. It started about one o'clock um, Eastern Standard Time here in the US, United States here. And by the time I got off, it was like seven o'clock, close to seven o'clock. So. Definitely was on there. <laughs> couldn't, couldn't believe I was on there for six hours. But great, great turnout. I mean, just the way it was done was beautiful by Southland Wet Shavers. The admins did a great job on it. I mean, it couldn't go any. It couldn't go any smoother the way the Zoom meetup was. I mean, I think there was like at least, at least I counted a hundred people there. But I mean, there was probably more than that. From what I hear, it's close to. Uh, don't quote me if I'm wrong, maybe 200 people at one time, but definitely 100 people from what I've seen a few times by looking up the the viewers on there. So I'd say it's a pretty decent turnout. And they had about 20 raffles too, which they did, free raffles, which, which they did on, you know, live on the, the Zoom meetup, which was really cool. So everybody had a chance to win a raffle, so which was really nice. And there was some really, really good stuff there. A lot of the vendors that, that donated the stuff included, I want to say, Andy, uh, Edwin Jagger. I'm, I'm, I'm just naming a few of them. Uh, I want to say also uh, SMG Soaps. A Razor Rock and donated a bunch of razors. I saw like a lot of game changers being being raffled off. And I'm trying to think what other vendors were there. There was a bunch of other vendors, I want to say. I can't I can't really name off the top of my head, but it was an awesome, awesome meetup. All right, guys. Nice lather from the first uh, face out of there. Let me go ahead and put this uh, Rockwell to the test on three days worth of growth on my face. So three and a half, actually not Rockwell, Rex Ambassador Razor, three and a half. Three is worth of growth. First pass. Here we go. It 
So this is about three and a half on the uh, adjustment dial here. So far so good, nice slick lather. So if you go on the Tallow and Steel website, it talks about the ingredients, the how he renders the fat from a local, I want to say a local farm that's organic beef tallow. So it's really interesting just reading about how he does it, but, but I can tell you one thing, this stuff is slick. Definitely no drag at all whatsoever. And this is my first tallow and steel soap. And so far I'm impressed. Yeah, very nice slickness. And this razor is very efficient, guys. Great razor. Yeah, I just can't say enough about how well the South Flow West Shearers admins and the vendors pulled this off for not having a live meetup, for having a Zoom meetup. But definitely well done, guys. Great, great meetup for what it is for not having a live meetup. All right, guys, that's the first pass, and that was a nice shave. That was a nice pass. Nice slickness. The scent is phenomenal. Let me go ahead and rinse my face, guys, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back, and look at that lather out of the bowl. Just amazing lather, too, also from this Talon Steel Soap. Let me do that second face lather here. Definitely feel the gel tips on this brush. Very, very nice brush. In case you guys are wondering where they get the name Big Cypress, I'll show you. Look at that knot. The way it splays out, the way, the, the way it's, you know, the way it just splays out, the way thick it is. It looks like a cypress tree almost. So I could be wrong, that's where, that's where he gets his name for the this knot, but man, it seems like it's a big cypress tree. A very soft cypress tree in your face. Man, the scent is amazing. This is like a This is like a, a citrus explosion with some earthy woods behind it. Definitely bright scent. This is probably a great scent for the summer, in my opinion. Spring or summer scent. All right, that should be good. But man, this is a nice, nice scent, guys. Very well done, Talon Steel and Cephalo Wet Shapers. All right, guys, I'm going to go across the grain here. So even though we didn't meet up in person, it was really cool to talk to a lot of guys on the meetup. It was kind of virtually impossible to talk to everybody at the same time we have 100 people on there. But once everybody kind of got off, you know, when a few people got off and... And after the raffles, we kind of had a little, kind of like a little happy hour where, you know, a few of us were on there. I think there was probably about 30 people on there, you know, 20, 40 to 30 people when it started being a little bit easier to talk to people on there, on Zoom. All right, got a 
little bit of a cut right here. That's a bad thing to have pimples. Sometimes you have a, a zit and you nick it with your razor. But definitely a very efficient razor, by the way, with that pulse silver blade. Right, get a little bit underneath the gills. So it's funny seeing other people do their fancy pants shaves wearing suits and stuff and uh, tuxedos. I saw people, I saw like one person wearing a tuxedo and a top hat doing a shave for his fancy pants shave, which I thought was pretty awesome and funny. But me, I just get too messy. I can't do that with a suit on. You know, with a tie right here, it'd be kind of hard to do a, a shave with a with your shirt, you know, with a tie on everything. All right, guys, that's the second pass, and that was a great, great pass, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back from my last pass, last face leather against the grain here. Let me go into that last face leather here. I'm a little bit dry on my face. Let me put some more water on here. Yeah, there we go. That was a trick, that extra water. So sand strength on this soap is probably about, about seven. Not the strongest sand soap, but definitely, definitely there. Definitely above average. Man, you, you, you do definitely do smell those three different grapefruits in there. And it's not really green. I mean, it's it, they describe the scent as being green, green notes, but man, I just smell more citrus notes. The wood dry down, I do smell it a little bit when you, after I, after I do the, uh, the brush loading here and face lathering, I do smell a dry down a little bit, but I just smell, I just really smell the citrus mostly. It's a really nice scent, very nice scent. All right. Hope you guys are staying safe out there. Florida is and other parts of the country are getting a lot of COVID cases, which I think has more, mostly to do with the more to do with the uh, testing, because they're testing a whole lot more than they were a few weeks ago, and naturally you can get more positive. So, all right, guys, this is the uh, last pass against the grain. Rex Ambassador on three three point five. Yeah, definitely slick. I love the way soap feels. Man, I keep hitting this area right here. Which is kind of funny because I was using straight razor shaves. I was using straight razor. My last shave, I had no cuts. And I cut myself with a D razor. So go figure. Well, it's cool talking to uh, Gonzo and John Romanoff, SMG, about straight razor shaving. 
That's one of the highlights of the uh, meetup today. I got to pick the brains of two experienced great wet shavers that have their own YouTube channels on straight razor shaving, so. Underneath the gills right here. So getting back to the COVID thing, definitely guys be safe out there. I mean, I don't want to, I don't mean to preach, but man, there's a lot of people not wearing masks when they go into the stores. A lot of people being huddled together, not practicing social distancing, and that's why people are getting this virus because it's highly contagious. But the good thing is the the death rate the death rate's going been going down, so they're finding ways to treat this virus. All right, guys, that was a shave. Let me wash my face, guys. Rinse my face, and I'll be back for the post shave. Stay tuned. All right, guys, that was a fantastic shave. I'm back for the post shave, so I'll be using the soap. Actually, the after shave that went with the soap the Morakimi Talon Steel, and this is the aftershave that came with the soap, the set. So I'll be using this with the, for my post shave, and pretty cool looking design on there, very nice Japanese, I believe this is the Morakimi Gardens uh, picture, like a little bit of a illustration of what it looks like there, but pretty cool looking label on there, and great ingredients. I'm excited about trying this out, so let's go ahead and open it up, give it a shake, Break the seal. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely unique scent. Definitely a little bit stronger than the soap. Let me go and put this on my on my hands. And it's got a little bit of a milky looking base to it. All right. Wow. Definitely, definitely citrus explosion. Really nice. Yeah, you can definitely smell more of the notes with the aftershave. The I can definitely smell the wood, that cedar wood, uh, a little bit, of, a little bit of the pine, but definitely, definitely more scent notes off the, from the aftershave, more, more so than the soap. But man, the soap is really awesome, and so is aftershave. And I would say aftershave is pretty strong. I would say about a nine on scent straight from zero to ten. So great stuff. So great. Great stuff, uh, great job by Southwest West Shavers and Talon Steel. Great soap, Marikimi. Morikimi, I'm saying it wrong, Morikimi. That's my shave, guys. This stuff, this, for my fancy pants shave. I use my Rex Ambassador uh, Stainless Steel Adjustable Razor on three and a half. So, nice setting on a three and a half setting for this. And I use my Pulse Silver First Juice Blade and that was an awesome blade for the shave for the three days worth of growth. And last but not least, Big Cypress by AMAC. So you can tell, definitely a big knot. Just like a big cypress tree. Very, very nice knot. Very nice looking brush, by the way. And last but not least, Jeffrey Esco. I love this little, this little uh, brush, brush holder. Great, great. Piece of pottery, great, great idea. I love sucking my brush on this. This is a really, really good idea. I don't know who made this, but man, very, very nice uh, construction on this. And also my Doug Smith bowl. All right, guys, that's my shave, my fancy pants shave. And I want to, I gotta tag at least two other people, maybe three people, for this. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna tag. I gotta think who I'm gonna tag. I'm actually gonna tag Gonzo from Rockin' and Shame with Gonzo. So Gonzo, you are tagged for this Fancy Pants Challenge. And also, Shooting the Shave, Josh, from Shooting the Shave, you're tagged also for the Fancy Pants Challenge. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna tag a big dog that's out there on YouTube. And I'm gonna tag, you know what, I'm gonna tag, I, I'm gonna tag Mark from Friendship Shaving. I've seen some nice stuff he's been getting lately, so I'm gonna definitely gonna tag him, because I know he has some Fancy Pants stuff 
and it's shaved in. All right, guys, that's my fence paint shave, and I hope you have guys have a good weekend, a good week. Enjoy your shaves. Stay safe. Take care.